back here at Bradley Central High School. Jim Speed around on Mix 104.1. Gary Omi, Brian Grisham. Here's the starting lineup tonight for the Bears. They'll start their three seniors, which, of course, is a 5'11 senior, Trevor Carpenter, 5'11 senior, Macias Daniel, and number 30, a 6'4 senior, J.D. Kirkpatrick, along with a 6'5 junior, number zero, Caden Botts, and number two, a 6'2 junior, D. Reed, for the Bears off coach Zach Carpenter, who come in 17 and 5, 8 and 4, in the district play, but this is a non-district game. 17-5 overall for the Bears. They've dropped their last two games. For the Chargers, they'll start number two, Novus Cox, a 6'3 senior. Number three, McCain Baker, a 5'10 senior. Number 11, Gabe Masigal, a 6'4 junior. Number 15, Will Cooper. And number 20, Jacob Ferguson, a 6'0 senior for the Bears. For the Chargers, of Coach Daniel Curtis, who's in his second year following Doug Armstrong, who was there for 30-plus yeah. years. And one note of interest that I just ran across this, didn't, wasn't looking for it. Coach Zach Carpenter got his very first win as a Bear head coach against McMinn Central back on November the 22nd in 2022 by a score of 58-44 here at Bradley Central. So a little tidbit of information. That first one's always special, and I'm sure he remembers it. That, of course, was the Honda of Cleveland starting lineup as we're about ready to get started. And the overall series is 61 to 14 in favor of the Bears in 75 games. And when they played uh, the previous game, the Bears won at 70 to 43 this season. Yep, absolutely. Brian Grishby bringing the play to play on this, and I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy it and uh, rest my voice. <laughs> That's right, absolutely. You had a dandy ball game that first one. It uh, was a fight. In case you're just tuning in, the uh, JV girls game went to the Bearheads 44 to 21. The uh, JV Bears.
Watch to D. Reed inside J.D. J.D. turns. He can't get a shot off. Back to D. Ball knocked out of bounds. And it'll be Bradley basketball. In amongst all the uh, men's central cheerleaders, they have a fine contingent of cheerleaders that have made their way down from Englewood. Oh, no. Macias hurt his knee. He jumped. And here's a pass to the men's central down court. The Bears... Macias Daniel went high for the pass, Gary, and he came down awkwardly, and I hope he just hyperextended that knee, but it doesn't look good. And he's up, and he is he is walking off. He's really favoring that left knee, and that is an injury uh, by for the direct primary care, and we, we appreciate them as a sponsor, but, boy, we hate to use that one. And, Gary, it looked awful. Did you see that knee, the way it, yep. he come down? Julie Gamble, our trainer, jumped on that quickly, and they've got him over there working. Well, I, I'm sure he's out of the game for the rest of the night. He, he come up, and, and hopefully it's just a hyperextension. I hope that's all it is. For Marion Taylor into the game for the Bears. Bears with the basketball, 3-2. to two, Bears on top. Here's D. Reed over to Taylor to Botts. Botts thought about a three, changed his mind. Gives it over to Carpenter. Carpenter drive, tries to drive baseline. Can't get there. Stingy 2-3 uh, defense by the Chargers. And the Bears will back it back out and set up things. The uh, Bradley Concrete game clock, 4.53 here in the first quarter. Here goes Carpenter down the lane. Dishes back out to Botts. Botts going to be very patient. And cross-court pass to Taylor. Taylor, three-pointer. Good. Ram Taylor from downtown. And the Bears have hit two threes to start the proceedings. We haven't missed this, but as soon as this game is over, they're going to set up for wrestling because the region wrestling tournament will be here tomorrow and they got to get set up tonight, so we won't have a very long post game. It'll be quick because they stand there patting their foot waiting on us, that's for sure. Here's a shot, no good. Rebound, Ram Taylor. Bears on the run. Taylor down the lane. Spin move. Can't get it to fall. Just a little bit too hard off the glass. And the Chargers will bring it the other direction. Here's a long three-pointer. McCain Baker, it is good. That was from at least five feet behind the line. NBA. Woo, that was a great shot. And you could tell it was going in when he let go of it. Here's a turnover by the Bears. Ferguson with the basketball. Massengale missed the dunk. He didn't get up enough. Oh, my goodness. That will drive a coach crazy right there. That was an easy two points, but to no avail. Here goes Carpenter down the lane, off the glass and in. Trevor Carpenter with two points, and that will push the lead to eight to five. Bears on top by three. Jacob Ferguson out front with the basketball. McMahon Central in their light blue, uh, I'm going to call it North Carolina blue. because it's what it is. That's it. Here's a long three-pointer, air ball. By, by Cooper, just a little strong on that one. Jackson Air into the game, and he will replace J.D. Kirkpatrick. J.D. Kirkpatrick, the senior on senior night with the start. Jackson Air will take his place as J.D. will take a break. 3.06 to go, first quarter. Just getting started in the boys' contest. Brian and Gary bringing you all the action. Here's Carpenter from downtown. That's three three-pointers for the Bears. And it's an 11-5 Bradley lead. Just under three minutes to play first quarter. And Kia of Cleveland three-pointer. Yes, it was. A Kia of Cleveland three-pointer. Here's a pass inside to Massengale. This is to Cooper. And he, McCain, no, that's Baker. McCain Baker knocks down his second three of the ball game and the Chargers stay right on the Bears heels 11 to 8 Bradley with the basketball and the lead Ram Taylor over to Carpenter had an open three takes it inside ball is knocked away Chargers on the run here goes Massengale up off the glass and in nice move by Gabe Massengale that time and it's a one point bear lead 11 to 10 Kaylee Martin preparing to check in for the Bears Trevor Carpenter out front. Looks like the Chargers have changed up their, deep, their zone just a little bit as they put a little trap into it. Maybe a 1-3-1 this time. Three-pointer, D. Reed, no good. Rebound goes to Massagale. Chargers will slow it down just a little bit this time. 
as they'll work it around, work, try to get a good shot. Ferguson over to Cooper. Back to Ferguson up the top of the key. Graham Taylor all over him. Appreciate everybody joining our broadcast tonight. Oh, there's a travel. I saw that one from here. As Will Cooper put the move on and then went the other direction and did not dribble. Forgot to dribble. So, turnover Chargers. Martin in for D. Reed for the Bears. Caleb Martin will see his first action of the night. As D. will take a break. Headed toward the one-minute mark of the first quarter. Bears up by a point with the basketball. <coughs> Those cross-court passes are making me nervous, Gary. <laughs> Here's the pass back out front. Ram Taylor drives the lane, puts it up. Rolls and rolls and finally falls in as the Bears go to a three-point lead, 13-10, with 55 seconds to go, first quarter. Senior night. It's always a special night for parents and families. I've been through it myself with my kids, and it's an emotional night. Here's a trap over in the corner. Chargers get it out of there as number 23, Raymond McCarty, in the game, misses the shot. Bears will, I'm not sure they'll back it out. Yeah, it looks like they're going to back it out now. And, and set it up for a last shot. Taylor over to Carpenter. Carpenter's trout. Jackson Harry, he's not waiting on the last shot. He should have. Rebound goes to Martin. He is fouled, so Caleb Martin will go to the free throw line. Foul is on number, was that a 20, 23? Okay, I had a 32. I was looking for a 32 there. I believe that's the first foul of the night. On Is that the first foul on either team, Gary? No, yeah. yeah I, I believe yeah, it is. There is. First free throw is good by Caleb Martin. Caleb just transferred to Bradley Central after the break, and it's his, he's played a couple of varsity games. Just getting his feet wet as he knocks down both free throws. So that'll make it a five-point bear lead with 20 seconds to play first quarter. Ferguson out front. Five count is on. Ram Taylor's all over him. He gives it up to Massengale. Massengale's a load going down the lane. In and out. It was halfway down. Eric with the rebound. Six seconds. Here's a pass down court to Taylor. Caden Bott's got to get one off. Three-pointer at the buzzer. The bank is open. <laughs> he banked it home. Everybody has a smile. <laughs> wow. They're giving him a hard time. Coach Carpenter's giving him a hard time. <laughs> he told him the bank was open. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's a three-pointer nevertheless. And that is the way the first quarter ends. 18-10. to 10, Bears on top by eight. And uh, we're going to take a one-minute timeout supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. Uh, we'll be back with all the second quarter action after this one-minute timeout. Senior night at the gym, Jim Smitty Arena on the campus of Bradley Central High School. Bears on top of the Chargers, 18 to 10 as we start the second quarter. Uh, interventional pain consultants and Dr. Josh Hare, we appreciate them and their sponsorship at the end of the quarters. Here's a long three-pointer by Cooper, no good. Rebound to, goes to Botts and the Bears are on the run. Carpenter out front, thought about a three, changed his mind. And the Chargers, once again now, they change, they, they tweak that uh, zone defense. Here's Jackson Airy with a shot, gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. Now that's the way you do it, you follow your shot. Don't stand and admire it, crash Every, the board. Everybody else was looking, Jackson just walked in, grabbed the rebound, put it up. Nice job by Jackson. 20 to 10, 10 point lead for the Bears, I believe. That is the largest lead of the ball game. Masson Gale from downtown, he missed that one. Ram Taylor with the rebound, Bears on the run. Taylor 
Oh, the alley was there, but it was a little high. B. Reed back in for the Bears, and he will replace Caden Box. Caden will take a break. As the the just a little high, you'd have been seven foot tall to get that alley. Over. Yeah. But uh, turnover Bears. They're going to do a little uh, full court pressure this time. Chargers break it with ease. Massengill, he's trapped in the corner. Did he lose it or did the Bears knock it out? I believe it's just out of bounds. I believe the Bears knocked it out of bounds. So it'll be Charger basketball. Ten point lead for the Bears. Senior night, as I said, festivities galore. Everybody was honored. It's a great time for all in attendance, and I do mean all in attendance. It's a packed house tonight. Here's Massengill. Can't get a shot off. Three-pointer by Cooper. No good. Rebound. That was an air ball. D. Reed tracks it down on the other side. Martin gives it up to Carpenter. Back to Taylor. Taylor thinking about a three. Still thinking. No, he's going to back it out. Set things up. Over on the far side of the court to Carpenter, back out front to Taylor. Taylor, he's wanting to shoot a three in the worst way. Here he gives it up to Carpenter, three-pointer, no good. Beautiful uh, tip, uh, Jackson Airy. Yeah, he knew he couldn't bring it down. He just tipped it to Absolutely, he just missed, re redirected the ball right out to his teammate for a rebound. That's that's thinking, that's a thinking man's rebound right there. Trying to, here's a pass inside, stolen away by the Chargers. Trying to force it inside on that zone defense is hard to do. Here's a pass out front to number two is Novice Cox back in the ball game for the Chargers. Out front to Cooper as he sets up the play. He gives it up to Cooper. Three-pointer by Cox. No, Ferguson. Rebound bear. Shot was no good, a little too strong. Carpenter takes it in the lane. Back to Caleb Martin. Three-pointer. Good. And I believe that's his first three-pointer as a bear right I there. believe it is. I believe tonight's the first night he scored as and a bear. And that was a nice shot right there. He, yeah. he let it go. Here's a foul called on the other end. On uh, number. Martin. It's on Martin. Oh, Caleb, yes. So. And the end of the game, number 23, Raymond McCarty, who played a lot in the previous game. And he played a lot tonight in the JV boys yes, game. Yes, he did. He was, the, he was the man for the Charger JV team. Bears trying to make it a, a clean sweep of the night's festivities. The Bears and Bears took care of the JV games. Bears 44-21. Bears 52-39 winners. As the ball's knocked out of bounds, and the Chargers will keep it right in front of the Bradley student section or the Gary Ormby fan club, any way you want to talk about it. I pay them a lot of money. Well, yes, yeah, it's cost you a lot, but you're getting your money's worth there. Here goes Massengill with a hole. Oh, my goodness. And a foul is called, I believe, count the bucket. It's on Caleb. And that's Caleb. Boy, I, I hesitated to see if everybody was all right. I was afraid we were going to have to use the uh, direct primary care injury report. Right going there. right back in there. Absolutely. The Bears run them in and out. As Caleb with his second foul, he'll have to sit for a few minutes. So his knee's fine. <laughs> oh, Macias, you're yeah. exactly right. Yeah. Caleb, yes. So Macias, and, you know, and I thought it, the way he came down, I just thought it might have been hyperextended, and, and sometimes that just, that's fine. Tomorrow's when it'll be sore. Yep. Right. So that's great. That's great to see Macias Daniel back in the ball game. And the free throw is good. So that'll make it a 20 to 13 Bears by 10. 23-13. 23-13. There's my county math there check kicking in there here's a three-pointer b reed no J uh, ram. ram ram taylor from downtown as i try to play catch up here 26 13 bears on top by 13 the bradley concrete uh, game clock at 445 in the second quarter yeah oh and that is a foul that's a tough break for ram taylor right there as I don't think they were going to call it until he held his head. Right there. <laughs> yep. But uh, that's a good job. And he did. He got hit inside the head. It was it was very accidental, but it was a foul. Inbounds to Jacob Ferguson. He'll bring it across the timeline. Here goes McCarty to the hole. Finger roll. No good. That's got to be over the back. Oh, and then they call it on the Bears. All right. Jackson Airy. 
is called for over the back foul. And I saw it exactly the other direction, Gary. <laughs> no comment. No comment from the Hall of Famer. That is a wise decision. Free throw by Massengale. Justice prevails. Justice prevails as the free throw is no good. As he'll get another. That one's a brick. So there we go. Justice prevails, Gary. He's 0 for 2 right there. Karma. Karma. <laughs> Trevor Carpenter with the basketball over in the corner to Ari. Ari out front. There's that cross court pass that's scaring me to death as the Charger just barely missed it. Macias Daniel to Ari to Taylor to Carpenter. Back over Daniel. Thought about a three. Now he's going to put up a three off the front of the rim. No good. Ari comes up with a rebound. Ram Taylor takes it to the hole. Scoop shot oh, is good. Nice. Boy, what a move. Caden Boss going to check back in with the Bears. He went by about four Chargers that time and did the reverse layup. That was pretty. Here's a pickpocket. Macias Daniel with a Springdale hitting in there still and layup. And Macias, he's, he's fine and dandy, Gary. He didn't show any <laughs> ill effects. Probably scared him more than anything. Uh, he did. It scared all of us the way he came down. There's number four, uh, Aiden Plemons, into the ball game for the men's central team. 30 to 13 as we approach the three minute mark in the second quarter. This game really moving right along. Not been a lot of stoppages in play. Number one also in the game, Carter Anderson. Here's a turnover, Macias Daniel to the hole. He puts it up and in, it's good. And, and he'll foul. Go, go to the free throw line. And the foul is on Jacob Ferguson. I believe that I've just got two fouls on Men Central. Yeah, that's for, it. for the ball game, and we're we're deep in the second quarter. J.D. Kirkpatrick will check back in. We've got a timeout on the floor, 30-second timeout. We're going to take one with them, supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Well, Gary, I would go to the Mountain View Nissan scoreboard right now, but we're the only show in town tonight. <laughs> you got that right. And everybody else that's finished the regular season, this finishes our regular season. That's right. Man, it's regular season. Can you believe that? Macias Daniel from the Cleveland Utilities free throw line is up and good. He completes the three-point play. We need to go over the bracket, too, for the tournament. Yes, we do. Week. We haven't even thought about brackets yet. We'll talk about that here in a little while. Here's this turnover. Bears on the run. Caden Botts to the hole. And... And a, uh, a timeout. timeout. Yep. Another 30 second timeout is the uh, Daniel Curtis, the men's central coach, says, I can't stand to watch this. I've got to have a timeout. We'll take one with him. 30 second timeout supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. We'll be back in 30 seconds. I'm back in from the gym, Jim Smitty Arena. Senior night at Bradley Central. All is well so far as the Bears with a 22 point lead, 35-13, McMinn Central with the basketball. Bears, uh, the Bears are playing a little two, three zone this time down the court as they rarely do that. Here goes Anderson to the hole, scoop shot, no good. McCarty with the rebound and he is fouled. Probably Kirkpatrick. Probably. Nope. Nope. 31. Macias. 13. <laughs> Macias Daniel with the foul. So that'll send Raymond McCarty to the free throw line. The Cleveland Utilities free throw line. Free throw off the front of the rim. No good. That's 0 for 3 from the free throw line for the McMinn Central team. 
Let's see, number three became Baker back in, along with uh, Will Cooper. And Jacob Ferguson. Yes, 20. Ferguson came back in. Massengale and McCarty, the, the five on the floor. And, and then here comes number two, Novice Cox, back in for McCarty as McCarty hits the second free throw to make it 35-14. Bears by 21. Bears up by three touchdowns. A big second quarter so far for the Bears as they try to put, make it four for four for the Bradley teams in the night's festivities. Senior night here at Bradley. The crowd is hanging in there, Gary. There's very few of the left already. Oh, yeah. Biggest and, crowd of the year here. And it was night. packed during the girls' game, that's for sure. Carpenter shot a uh, pass out to the corner to Daniel inside to J.D. Macias, three-pointer, good. <laughs> Macias, Daniel continues the hot hand. That's seven three-pointers for Kiev Cleveland this a half. And they, uh, the Bears have knocked them down. Here's a foul called on the other end, and that one's on J.D. I knew J.D. would jump in there here in a minute. And that's number six, but he was in the act of shooting, so he'll shoot a couple of masks and go well. I'm assuming he's Molly's brother, maybe. I'm not sure. We're so. going to assume that. First free throw by Gabe Massengale is good. That's one for three. First free throw, first made free throw of the game for him in Central. As we got somebody coming in for the shooter here. As Massengale hits the second one, so he's two out of four from the line. McCarty will come in for Massengale on the Bradley Concrete game clock. 139 left in the first half. 38-16. Bears on top. They've led from the get-go on senior night here at Bradley. Final regular season game, district tournament coming up. We'll talk all about that at halftime. As the, uh, Should have Coach Jason Ruder along for a few comments, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Caden Botts, Carpenter, three-pointer, Daniel off the front rim. No good. Battled for. There's a walk. <laughs> There's a walk on a rollover. He, he rolled all the way to the free throw line. No call. So, you know, it's just a matter of opinion sometimes. Here's a pass out. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound. Tipped around. And D. Reed comes out of the pack with the basketball. Bears on the run. Botts. He'll back it back out as Central with their 2-3 zone defense. Carpenter, as we go under a minute to play, 45 seconds to be exact in the first half as the Bears would uh, be well-versed just to hold on for a last shot. But I'm not sure they're going to do that. Three-pointer from the corner, Carpenter. Zip. 41-16. The Bears have been deadly from downtown, Gary. That's eight of them. Eight of them in the first half. We take that for the ball game. Here is McCarty, a three-pointer for Central. No good. Rebound, Trevor Carpenter. And he is fouled by Raymond McCarty. That's two on McCarty. Not uh, ready to shoot free throws just yet. And Coach Zach Carpenter is going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll take one with them. Supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. We'll be back in 30 seconds. All right, technical difficulties abound, and we've got it all straightened out now. 41-16, 10 seconds to go, first half. Bears with the basketball, looking for the last shot. Five seconds, three seconds. Can't, gonna have to get it off in a hurry. Carpenter for three, in and out at the buzzer, and that is the story of the first half. Half time, 41-16. Bears on top by a bunch. We're going to talk district tournament and district uh, brackets when we come back. Our good buddy, 
Axel Rapisa punching the buttons and keeping us going. We appreciate him and all his hard work. We are at halftime. Bears on top, 41-16, two-minute break, and we'll be back in two minutes. Back here at Brandon Center, we're at halftime, our Southland Finance halftime show, Mix 104.1, where the Bears have pulled out to a 41 to 16 lead. They outscored the Chargers 23 to six there in that second quarter play. Sort of like it started over at McMinn Center. Right now, before Coach Reuter gets here, we'd like to talk about the upcoming District 5-4A basketball tournament, which starts Wednesday with the girls and the boys games in the first round game. Some people call it a play-in game, but you say it to Gene Manise at TWSWA and he'll throw you out of the room. He says, it's not a play-in game, they're it in the part tournament. of the tournament. That's exactly but right. The girls will be Udwal and Howard, and then it'll be in the girls game, and then Howard and Udwal in the boys game as well. So both Udwal, both Howard teams play their games on Wednesday. The loser's out, the winner advances. In the girls' side, Udwal Howard winner plays McMinn County on Thursday at six o'clock. We'll have two games there. And also on Thursday, six o'clock, Bradley Central awaits the winner of Howard and Udwal. And they'll play at 7.30 that night. Again, the winner is out, but the winner, loser is out. The winner advances to the semifinal game, which guarantees you a spot in the region, whether it's first, second, third, or fourth. Then on Friday the 17th, we'll have two games. We will have first the girls game, Walker Valley and Ray County. And then we'll have Walker Valley and Ray County, the boys game, back-to-back -back games there. And we'll have any Bradley, McMinn, Ray County, uh, Walk Valley games all on mix or on the bus, depending on what else is going on at the station that that night. Friday is going to be, or Saturday, a four-game set for you, beginning at 3 o'clock. In a girls' game, Brandy Central hosts will take on the winner of Walker Valley and Ray County at 3 o'clock. Back-to-back girls' games, Cleveland finished number two in the district, will take on the McMinn County or the Udwal Howard winner in that game there. Whether you win or lose that one, you'll be playing in the championship if you win it, you'll be playing in the Constellation if you lose it. Also, Saturday, two boys games at 6 o'clock in Men County will take on the Walker Valley Ray winner, and Cleveland will take on either Bradley or the Howard Udwal winner out of those three teams. So that'll be at 7.30. So it's girls, girls, boys, boys on Saturday, beginning at 3 o'clock with Bradley girls opening up action for the Cleveland girls. The winners on Saturday will play Monday at 6 and 7.30. The Constellation at 6, championship at 7.30 of the district. Tuesday, the boys. Constellation 6, championship at 7.30 for the boys tournament. And then we'll move on to region play, which will start on Friday the 25th. And that'll be played on the, the higher seed. One and two teams will host yep. the region. Three and four will travel. Same for the girls, same for the boys. So you, that's that's where we stand. And then we'll do that. That's the girls on Friday. Yeah. And here comes Jay Street. And the boys will be playing on Saturday in their game there. Being and, joined now, let's get a headset over here for Coach Reuter. And uh, you know how... How excited I get at tournament time, Gary. I, and there's going to be some great matchups early in the tournament and some and some great matchups, uh, potential matchups as we go along. It's going to be a great tournament. 
being joined now by Brad Central and Barrett head coach Jason Ruder. Jason, 59 to 50 win, and boy, it was a grinder, as they say. All the way, we jumped out to a huge lead, and they fought back. You knew they would, and they never gave up and gave us all we wanted. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, good, good game at a good time of the year, and uh, we got to. You know, they say revenge is always sweeter, and I don't mean that ugly. I'm, I have a lot of respect for Johnny Morgan. Yeah. He's got a tremendous team. They play hard. Uh, they could they could very well be the best team we've played this year. Uh, I know you weren't in South Carolina. We played a team from Raleigh that uh, would it's a close call. But other than that, I, you know, I mean, uh, you, went, you lose over there, and you're thinking, okay, we just got beat, and we know how we got beat. We got beat by putting them on the foul line. And tonight... We, we put them on the foul line just a little more than us, but not a tremendous amount. They shot 19, and we shot 13. Uh, we led from wire to wire, I guess. Am I right, Chris? Yeah. 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 I thought there was a time there we could have laid a knockout punch. Uh, you know, Avery Brewer may be the best sh shooter, three-point shooter in this region. And I said this region. I don't mean that. Uh, I can't say for sure, but she could be. Yeah. She didn't have the hot hand tonight. And, and But we found a way to win. Uh, they got a Division One player in Massengill. Uh, they made us turn it over 20 times. That's not our average, you know that. Right. Uh, but it was a lot of energy spent by both teams. Uh, our depth is about the same. Uh, we're a little bigger. Uh, you know, they thought. Uh, the, I think the the thought on their side was we can't run with them. But I don't know that we have any waddlers out there, uh, Gary. So I think. What you saw is what you got. Two good high school teams. Uh, you know, we played ten times. I'm not going to tell you how many which will win, but it's it's not going to be. Uh, it's going to be pretty close. I think. I think so. And I, even with the some of the things I could point out to you, I, when I thought we could have put them away quicker, I'm proud that our kids. We never come unglued. If we made a mistake, we found a way to make it correct. Uh, they had seven offensive rebounds in the first quarter alone. Of course, we're up 24 to nine. We held them to 12 after that. So that's five for the rest of the game. So the kids did at halftime what I asked. But now we got busted in the mouth in the third quarter, and that's not been our MO. It's usually not us, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. They shot it really well over there. Yeah. They Didn't really shoot did. as well, but you know, you're in your home house. Yeah. I've told my kids before, it's, it's probably worth 10 points playing here. It's worth 10 points for them at playing in Inglewood. At least. If you're playing in uh, 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 Thompson Bowling Arena, it's probably worth 10 points. And uh, that's not because of calls. It's just because of, you know, we had more fouls in both gyms. Yeah. More fouls called on us in both gyms. So I think uh, I enjoyed it. I was looking forward to it. But we got to put this behind. Now we got to get that next championship, the district. We play Saturday against uh, winner of Walker Valley and Ray. And uh, – and, and, and you scheduled this uh, early uh, last summer, I guess. Knowing that men's center's be pretty good, and you like to end, end the year. We've played Knox Catholic sometimes the last game of the year, and you got Central. And this exact kind I of thought thing. we would have tougher games with Knox Catholic this year, and we did. Because yeah. you can't predict the Maines girl was hurt. Right. And played four minutes up there, and then she came here. I don't think she still was at herself. And, uh, uh, yes, I purposely scheduled this game when I did. Yeah. Between me and Coach Morgan, we had to agree on it. But uh, we needed to be – tested and, and now here's the problem we got eight days until we play again yeah i'm gonna let the girls off tomorrow and sunday we usually practice uh one of those days but i think they deserve it but you got to stay focused basketball is such a timing sport timing 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 you can see erica swick yeah came in she gives us a little more size in the guard but you can see her timings off a little bit i knew it would give us a monday give us a tuesday give us a wednesday and uh, Thursday, Friday, we play Saturday. So I've got, I've got to figure out a way to keep these guys uh, in basketball rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Basketball is a timing sport. I'm hoping Coach Deals will bring his freshman boys in and, and scrimmage us one of these days we're off. There but, you go. Look but anyhow, I thought, you know, the uh, three leading scorers, Sloan Carpenter, she's got 17 turners coming into the year, had three tonight. And But look at her shooting, five for five. Yeah, she five really had five. a hot start there. And they only had three girls to even score. Well, that's and we kind of knew that. Yeah, we yeah. kind of knew that. They only had four over there. Here they go. Here they go, Gary. Okay. See you guys. Glad. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. That's Coach Jason Ruder of the Bears, Barretts, who won tonight in their game 59-50. to 50. We'll take a one-minute break and be back with the start of the third quarter. The Bears up 
41 to 16 here on Mix 104.1 as well as the Baron Network. Simply go to YouTube, look for BCHS.TV. Back in one minute with a third quarter call by Brian Grisham. It is senior night at Bradley Central High School. 43-19, Bears well on their way to their 18th win of the season. The, the teams have traded uh, baskets to start the third quarter here. Uh, D. Reed knocked to a, uh, down a short uh, layup and a three-pointer, uh, the third one of the game, as a matter of fact, from McCain Baker. We'll go over some halftime stats here if we get a chance. Uh, 6.23 to go on the Bradley Concrete game clocks, 43-19 Bears on top, but Men Central with the basketball. We appreciate all, all of our fine folks and all the feedback we're getting on our broadcast. Appreciate everybody tuning in and listening to Bradley basketball all year long. Regular season is about to be a distant memory, Gary. It sure is. Here's a shot inside. No good rebound, Caden Botts. And I tell you what, I've had so much fun, I'm just going to get ready for the district tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kick it into another gear of the district tournament because I love to see the intensity level rise and go through the roof. Uh, it'll be held over at Cleveland High School, and there are going to be some outstanding basketball games all next week, starting on Wednesday night. And, and, and we won't call that the play-in game. We'll call that the first game of the district tournament. First round. That's exactly right. Bears with the basketball, but men central in their 2-3 zone as the Bears are being very patient, working it around, 5.22 to go, third quarter. As the Bears are taking nearly a minute off the clock here, waiting on the, the shot. You know, they're working around trying to get a, a backdoor cut or something like that as they're in no hurry whatsoever to throw up a three. And just as I say that, Caden Bodd puts up a three, no good, J.D. Kirkpatrick with the rebound, gives it up to Daniel. And I believe they're gonna see it with off of Macias' knee, maybe. I don't know about that one. Well, that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> Into the cheerleaders. The cheerleaders were not ready for that pass as they have a good laugh over there. Might have got one of them on the head. <laughs> uh, McMinn Central with the basketball. Over in the corner, Massengale, a high arching three-pointer. My goodness. Gabe Massengale with his first three. Let's see, that's three, five, seven, nine points for Gabe Massengale. And that'll push it to a 43-21 bear lead. Carpenter to the hole, puts it up and in. Boy, that was a strong drive to the bucket right there. He can do it. We've seen him for four years now. And somehow, he's not six foot, six one, but man, he can get there among the big timber and, hey, and it, get a good shot. It doesn't bother him to take it in there either. No. Here's a pass out front to Ferguson. He's going to pull up 10 footer. It's good. That was a nice drive and jump shot by Jacob Ferguson. That's his first point to the ball game. Raymond McCarty getting ready to check back in for the visitors. D. Reed, Macias Daniel, J.D. Kirkpatrick, over to Botts, back out to D. Reed, the Bears will start over, doing a little weave action, figure eight, here goes Carpenter down the lane, he misses this one, it rolls off the rim, D. Reed with the rebound, and he is going to be fouled, I do believe, by Jacob Ferguson. No novice Cox. Oh, is it on novice? Number two. All right, then, they both fouled him, because I saw the other one. <laughs> 
Uh, looks like Jackson Airy and a couple of uh, Chargers about to check in for the Bears. First free throw by D. Reed off the back of the rim. Too strong. He'll get another. That was D's got two points in the game. That was his first free throw of the game. Looks like number one, Carter Anderson and McCarty check into the ball game for the Chargers. Second free throw by Mr. Reed. Zip. So one out of two for D. Reed. Bears on top, 46-23. 3.37 to go, third quarter. Masson Gill tried to go baseline, couldn't get there. Cade Bott shut him down. Here's a little scoop shot inside by McCain Baker, no to no avail. Bears on the run. D. Reed to the hole. Right hand puts it up. Oh, tough break. Off the back of the rim. Chargers take it the other way. Here's Baker, <laughs> triple team, but he gets it up to Massengale, who puts it up and in. That was a good spin move by Gabe Massengale. And that makes it a 46-25, 26 ball game. Excuse me. 46-26, Bears by 20 as we go under three minutes to play in the third quarter. Looks like Caleb Markin, Martin and Ram Taylor getting ready to check in for the Bears. Jackson Airy out front, Cade Botts, Caden Botts downtown. Rebound goes to Massengale as the Chargers get it across the timeline. Here's McCarty, 20-footer, good. Nice shot by Raymond McCarty. 46-28, Bears by 18, timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them, 30-second timeout. We'll be back after this break. You're listening to Bradley Central High School Basketball right here on Mix 104.1 and all the fine folks at the Bear Network bringing you the action. Bears on top, 46-28 with the basketball. As we wind our way down here in the third quarter, Caleb Martin in the lane, dishes to Botts, three-pointer off the front of the rim, hits about five players before the Chargers come up with it. Chargers on the run, McCain Baker, three-pointer, no good. Rebound goes to McCarty, and then it is lost out of bounds. I believe the Chargers will keep it as number four, Aiden Plemons, checks back in. Will Cooper also back in. Will Cooper back in for the Chargers as Coach Daniel Curtis running his players in and out, keeping fresh legs on the floor. Massengale, boy, he hit the floor hard. And a foul is going to be called on Caden Botts. Boy, I tell you, Massengill, when he goes to the hole, he goes. <laughs> he's, he's a big guy, about 6'5 or so, but he is quick. He's got muscles on his muscles, and he goes, buddy. And uh, he's a, he's goes, He plays hard at all times, 100 mile an hour. Oh, here's – was that a illegal screen? Well, they're going to get together and talk it over oh, now. Oh, we have a discussion. They're thinking about where they're going to eat after the ball game. Nope. It's on Caden. To no avail. They call it on Caden. I believe Caden was knocked into that foul, uh, Gary. Uh, that's well, that's what Coach Carpenter warning an illegal screen there. That's right. And it, it probably was. I did not see the screen, but just judging by the way Caden was knocked, it, it just about had to be. Yeah. Chargers with the basketball. As we go into two minutes to play, third quarter. Out front with the basketball is Cooper. Here's a three-pointer, no good. Rebound goes to the Bears. Here goes Carpenter to the hole. He was fouled. But no call. They say, oh my goodness. And Coach Zach Carpenter is a little upset over that call with good reason. He gets a technical call. They team up? Yeah, yeah, they sure did. Technical on Coach Carpenter. So McMahon Central will shoot a couple free throws. Is, is he the one that called it? 
That would be uh, yes. One no, no, the the the, co the one on the far side of that call. Yeah, yeah. Coach Carpenter was was jumping up and down on him, and uh, they teed him up. Cooper, the line shooting free throws for the Chargers. First free throw, zip for Will Cooper. That's his first point of the night. He had, I think, he had a bunch up there for them. Yeah, ten. Yeah, his his second point of the night as he hits the second technical free throw. So that'll cut it to a 16 point lead, 46 30 with 138 to go, third quarter. Coach Carpenter is going to need a new piece of chewing gum as he's really wearing this one out over here. And he's got to sit down now. Yeah, got to sit down for a while. The rest of the ball game. Ballon Caleb Martin. Well, for some reason, things have tightened up in a hurry here. <laughs> so that was a, here's a steal. Springdale hitting in there, still Ram Taylor too hard off the glass. Carpenter with the rebound. Oh, and he got the foul. And he <laughs> he leaned into that. He, he knew that foul yeah, was going to go. He he leaned right into that one, and that's the way a senior does things. That's right. Foul is called on number four, Aiden Plemons, and that will send Trevor to the free throw line. We've only scored five points this quarter. Yeah, yeah, they hadn't been a whole lot. And let's see, two, they've got four. fourteen. Yes. 14 to five. Charger run in the third quarter. Second free throw is good for Trevor Carpenter. He knocks them both down. No, he hits one out of two. 47-30. Bears on top of 17. Here's Massengale to the hole. He puts it up and in. Gabe Massengale. He was high enough. I thought he was going to dunk it, but he just softly laid it in. Here's Trevor Carpenter in the lane. Spin move. Gives it off to Ari, who juggles. And... I believe Massengill got him. I believe the foul is on Massengill. Yep. That's just two I've got him for. Not a whole lot of fouls called. Uh, Massengill with two. McCarty with two for the Chargers. Uh, looks like Caleb Martin with three and Botts with two for the Bears. Ball uh, free throw. Bounces around and bounces and finally falls in for Jackson Airy. That's his first free throw of the night. Multiple substitutions. Looks like Ferguson back in along with uh, Cooper and looks like Plemons over there. Second free throw, Jackson Airy is good. So he's two for two, 49-32. Bears with a comfortable lead. McCarty loses the ball, but he goes right back to Baker. And then the pass to McCarty for the layup. They're beating us to the back door. They are. They, that's, that's the last two or three trips down the court. They beat us to the back door. Bears still with a comfortable 15-point lead as we go into a minute under a minute to play. Third quarter, Caleb Martin dishes to Ari. Tough pass went right between the big man's legs into the cheerleaders. Turnover Bears. Bears are going to show some full court pressure with 41 seconds to go, third quarter. Our Bradley Concrete game clock. There's a foul That's on four. Caleb Martin. And Caleb has got to get a control on his temper <laughs> or he's going to get another one. Macias Daniel checks in for Caleb. He'll set out with four fouls. As uh, that will be... Charger basketball right here in front of our broadcast position. 49-34, 30 seconds to play, third quarter. Ferguson with the basketball, thought about a three-pointer. Over in the corner. That is number 15, Cooper, turnaround jumper, no good. D. Reed with the rebound, 18 seconds to play. Bears will maybe pull it back out. No, they're going to go in, but the ball's knocked out of bounds into the cheerleaders. And we'll have 11.8 seconds to play, third quarter, as the Bears try to put some points on the board to finish out the third quarter. Jackson Airy, spin move, left it short. Rebound Massengale, six seconds, five seconds. Throws it away, Carpenter. He'll have a heave at the buzzer. No good. And that is the end of the third quarter, 49-34. After three periods of play, Bears on top on senior night. 
We'll have all the fourth quarter action for you right here on Mix 104.1 and the Bear Network. Brian Grissom, Gary Owenby, we'll be back after this one-minute timeout. <laughs> we are back. We'll say we won't say hello to uh, Mr. Rudy Felton yeah. as he's uh, texting Joe here on the side. We appreciate all our feedback. One of my favorite people in the entire world, Mr. Rudy Felton. 49-34. Bears on top by 15 as we start the fourth quarter. 7:50 to go in the ball game. Out front is Will Cooper with the basketball. Daniel knocked it away from him for a second. Here's a pass over to Ferguson to Cooper. Three-pointer, steps inside the three-point line, no good. Rebound, Ram Taylor, Bears on the run. Ram, push the move on. Oh, my. Well, I'm just not going to say anything, Joe. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> Carrying carry the basketball. Turnover, Bears. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Mercy me. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on, Gary. 49-34, uh, turnover, Bears. Out front is Ferguson with the basketball. Gives it over to Baker. Baker back to McCarty, who's back in the ball game. To Novice Cox. He drives the lane. Left-handed scoop. In and out. It will roll around and sit there a minute and come out. And D. Reed rips down the rebound. Bears will back it out. Over to Ram Taylor. Taylor. He'll pop to the baseline. Back out to Reed. Reed. Baseline. Three. Little teardrop. Nice left-handed shot by Ram, by D. Reed, and he puts it up and in. Here's on the other end. Will Cooper wastes no time getting that bucket back, and it's 51-36. Bears with their 15-point lead. Mr. Grace comes to the sideline here and falls down as, as a basket by the Bears. Who was that, Gary? That was uh, Ram Taylor. Ram Taylor with the bucket. As I was watching Caden Botts fall to the to the, the scorer's table here. 6.20 to go in the ball game. Here's a long three-pointer in and out for the Chargers. Rebound Cox, no good. And D. Reed clears the board for the Bears. Bears on the run. Three-pointer from the corner. Daniel, no good. McCarty with the rebound. Chargers on the run. Back over to Ferguson. Got away with a travel. Back out. To Will Cooper, over to Cox, he goes baseline, he's shut off, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound, J.D. Kirkpatrick. Taylor to D. Reed, oh, D. was going to go airborne and fumbled it out of bounds into the cheerleaders. Caden Botts. Gabe Massengill back in for the Chargers as well. Massengill back into the... He has to have some linebacker in his background, Gary. Uh, he is sure a large gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he just a tight end or linebacker, oh, something or both. Be. He could be both. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Here's a three-pointer way downtown, off the front of the rim, no good by Will Cooper. Rebound, D. Reed. Reed's got a handful of rebounds, especially here in the second half. He's always active on the boards. Car Carpenter gives it up to J.D. J.D. is going to be fouled by Gabe Massingill. I've got him for three. What you got, Gary? Second. It's two. It's two. Well, I'll be ready when the next one's called then. Caden Bott's going to throw it in right here by our broadcast position as Aiden Plemons checks in. McCarty will take a break. 
for the Chargers. Inbounds to Kirkpatrick. Here's a pass inside. Bodge puts it up and in. I believe that's his first points of the ball game. Five thirty. Bears on top, but ball game. Massengale's on the floor. Shot is good. Baker, I think I've got him for four three pointers now. It's That's four. Number for three. McCain Baker, as he is deadly from downtown. 55-39 as we go under four and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Daniel drives the paint, and he's going to be fouled by. Oh, called him to foul. Oh, my. Offensive foul. Daniel called for the offensive foul. <laughs> I'm not going to say a word. Well, no, don't say anything. We're just going to move forward. We're going to get this one over with. Same fish we had here the last game and same mistakes. And, 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 yeah, yeah, Mama always said don't say nothing at all. But anyway, he's a Hall of Famer. He can talk about it. Four, that's right. Yeah. Four, 420 to go in the ball game. <laughs> nothing like fun at the old ballpark, Joe. 55-39. Here's a foul. D. Reed. On D. Reed. I believe that's his first. 414 to go in the ball game, and that will send number three McCain Baker to the free throw line. 12 points in the game for Baker. Make it oh, it's still 12 as he hit the back of the rim. Do we have a lane violation? Uh, no, he's shooting two. Ah. Oh. oh. Now he's still shooting two. Uh, he's though. still shooting two. We had a lane violation on the Bears that yeah, time. Yes, one and one. I think uh, JD's fighting off Massagale for the rebound down there and got in just a hair early. So, the real first free throw by McCain Baker, that first one never really happened. You know that, doesn't Right. It? And he'll get another. Now we're going to have a zebra conference. Had uh -oh. too many of those tonight. We've got a lot of them. We have more than we've seen all year in one game, that's for sure. Ah, uh, so it wasn't two free throws. It was one and one. The first one didn't actually happen, and the second one, he hit the first one. Okay, so we got it now. Second free throw, no good. So one out of two for Baker, and it is 40. Bears by 14 with 4.13 to go in the ball game on the Bradley Concrete game clock. <coughs> that was a Cleveland Utilities free throw, by the way. Macias Daniel out front to Botts to Carpenter. Doing the weave, J.D. gives it up to Caleb Martin, who has checked back into the ball game for the Bears. Bears weaving right to the hole. Macias had a layup, but lost the handle. Into the Bradley cheerleaders. Turnover Bears. Bears a little full court pressure. Chargers break it with ease. Here's a pass. Caleb Martin swats it into the Charger cheerleaders who were not prepared for that one. As they check each other over there, everybody's all right. So it's McMahon Central Basketball. 3.43 to go in the ball game. Here's Massengale to the hole. Little five-footer up and good. He's got nice touch. Like to mention, Jim had the largest crowd of the season here tonight. On senior night at Brady Central, I honor all of our basketball players, our cheerleaders, and so forth. And thanks to Lynn Jones again, the Lynn Jones Absolutely. Foundation. Absolutely. He had a couple of elementary schools invited here tonight. J.D. Kirkpatrick with the beneficiary of a Trevor Carpenter driving dish. No, he wasn't, but he hit him in the hand, so he put it up and in. <laughs> J.D. said, well, here's the basketball. That was a great pass by Trevor. And he actually went around a, def a defender. J.D. couldn't have seen it coming. <laughs> Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be Mac Men Central, and, and that is Mac Men Central. Yes, it I, is. I, I have been corrected by my friends. It's not McMen, it's Mac Men. So we want to get that right. Here's a pass inside. Foul is called on Caden Botts. That's, is that three? It's third, yep. I believe that's what I've got on my extremely unofficial stats. 57-42, 3.05 to go in the ball game. Massengale, he hits the first one. He'll get another. Massengale's had a good ball game. That's 10, 13, 16 points I've got him for. 
again on my unofficial stats. Second free throw is good. He is four out of from the free throw line. And it's a 13-point uh, game, 57-44. Bears on top with the basketball as we go under three minutes to play in the contest. Daniel inside, turnaround jumper is going to fall. Are they going to call it? Uh, going to count it? Yeah, got to. I believe they are. Yep. Count the bucket. Boy, that was a nice move. He caught the ball down low on the post, gathered, turned, and put it in. Who's that foul on, Gary? Number 20, Jacob Ferguson, his second. Second foul for Jacob Ferguson. Three-point play is completed by Macias Daniel on senior nine. Macias had a great ball game. And that makes it a 60-44 to 44 ball game. Bears on top. 2.40 to go in the contest. Bears are going to put their 18th win of the year on the board unless a miracle happens here. Oh, no. Massengale loses his footing. I hate to see that. Did he turn an ankle or did he hurt a knee? Well, he's I don't know. up. Boy, he's gritting his teeth. He's hurt his, he hits so hard his headband come off. That is a direct primary care injury report. Let's see if he's going to be able to stay in the game. No. Uh, did we call a timeout? Yep. McMinn Central is going to take Central, a full Central's timeout. Central's going to take a timeout as they attend to Gabe Massengale. We hope he just uh, slipped and didn't hurt anything right there. Hate to see anybody get hurt, this, especially this late in the ball game. Timeout on the floor. 2.34 to go in the ball game. 60-44. Bears on top. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. Well, we've had several zebra conferences, Gary, uh, during the timeout, and now I think we're ready to play basketball. 2.34 to go in the ball game. Bears on top by 16. 60-44. to 44 the, Go ahead. With the basketball. Go ahead. McMinn Center has played a lot better. We've been 70-43 to 43 at their place. And uh, they have. Yeah. They've shot the ball well tonight, and, the, and uh, the, Bears, the Bears have shot it much better than they did up there, and that's the reason for the the difference in the score right now. Here's a ball blocked by McCarty as <laughs> here's a scramble on the floor. Bots, oh, now that's bots on the floor and the Bears call a timeout. That's the way for a while. That one right back, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't. Let's take that timeout for Tennessee Valley, Raji, and we're returning just 30 seconds here on Mix 104.1 for Game Spidey by Wholesale Supply Group. Uh, You're listening to Bradley Central High School Basketball right here on Mix 104.1. Brian and Gary bringing you all the action here on senior night as Trevor Carpenter with a turnaround jumper. And here's a turnover by McMinn Central as we are a minute and 39 seconds from putting this one in the books. 
and finishing out the regular season. Here is Raheem Brownlow into the ball game for the first time. As a senior, Macias Daniel gets a standing ovation as he comes out of the ball game for the Bears. He might have had his best game of the year, Gary. He had a good one, and he was he was intense. He was playing hard on defense. And, and came back. He missed most of the first quarter after Hyper extending the knee, it looked like. And, yeah. and we were tickled to see him come back. Here's a pass inside to J.D. He is fouled by number 31. Well, I don't have a 31. Nor a 13. Nor a 13. So, go, ghost on first, I guess you would say. Free throw by J.D. is no good. Going to have to take a little bit off of that one. Coach Carpenter taking his seniors out one at a time so they can receive some Absolutely. applause. Absolutely. Trevor Carpenter get a standing ovation as Hunter Fields checks in for him. J.D., second free throw, no good. Rebound, fought for. And J.D. with a foul. J.D. picks up the foul. That's his second. 1-1. One, and one. here comes Keandre Butts into the ball game and that'll be for JD as the Bears take their seniors out one last time here in the regular season as JD gets his standing ovation and that will send number 23 Raymond McCarty to the free throw line and that'll clear all the seniors that's from it. the floor that's it three of them the free throw no good off front of the rim rebound Caden Botts Bears on the run Botts will back it up out front to Caleb Martin. Here's a brown low. Pass inside to Martin with the left-handed layup. That was nice. 62, 64, excuse me. 64, 44, Bears by 20. Less than a minute to play in the ball game. Here's number 10, Jake Gooden in the ball game for the Central. As he is triple teamed, he's in a world of hurt over there. And did they bail him out with a foul? Timeout. Timeout. My men Central's going to take a timeout. A.J. Williams going to check in. Jalen Terry going to check in with the Bears when they come out of the timeout. We'll just keep it right here. Have we got a full timeout or 30? It's a full. Full timeout. We'll take timeout with them. Supplied by Wholesale Supply Group back in one minute. All right, the seconds are winding down in the ball game as the Bears are about to put their 18th win on the board here in about 10 seconds. Here's McCarty, Central, no good, shot rebounded by number 24, Braden Beastry, puts it in, and that is our final score at the buzzer, 64-48, Bears put it in the win column. Once again, your final score, 64-48. We hope to get uh, Coach Zach Carpenter. We'll take a, a quick uh, timeout. 30, 30. Uh, take a 30-second timeout, Axel, and we'll be right back uh, with our post-game show.
Welcome back here on Mix 104.1 and our Leisure Time Bowling postgame show. The Bears close it out 64 to 48, the final score to improve to 18 and 5. And the Chargers uh, give us a different game, a better game than before. Our second quarter, we outscored by 23 to 6. That was a, the separation that you needed there. Zach. We even joined up as head coach Zach Carpenter. Uh, a good win for you to close out the. It the was. Season. It was. I'm glad we could send the seniors out the right way. And, you know, that first half, we played about as good as we could have. Yeah. You know, I thought we did a great job defending. We shared the ball. We shot the ball well. We we took good shots and room and rhythm, and, and we were able to make them at a high clip. And we did a nice job of boxing out, rebounding, and uh, taking advantage of it. So I, I was really proud of them in the second half. You know, we got a little a little relaxed. But, um, you know, when, you, when you're up 25 at halftime on senior night, you, you never know what to expect. So No, and – not a whole lot bad you can say, you know, in the in the dressing room there, but uh, no, I'm they, really proud of these guys. They, they played well, and they, they put uh, it in the win column despite the coach getting the technical. <laughs> <in> the <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to get me because he got mad at me for the yeah, tripping yeah. when I yelled at him for that one. I so. just had to give you a little rib there on that. <laughs> I, that one. was a planned technical. <laughs> Okay, well, well, we'll let you go and get away <laughs> yeah, with that there. We'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> you get, you're getting ready to start the district tournament now, and you'll play next Thursday, and you're waiting to see who you're going to play. But uh, uh, it's live or, uh, live or die right now, that first round there. you got to win it. Yeah, it's win or go home now. I mean, that's so you got to be ready to play every time you step on the floor from here on out. If you're not, then, then your season's going to come to an end quickly. So we're going to let them rest for a day or so and then get back to work on Monday. Uh, putting a plan together for Howard and Udawal, just have both of them ready to go for whoever we play. Well, it'll be somebody you're familiar with at least. You know, you played it twice is. this year. It is. So we already know their personnel, both teams, and, and know what they run. So it, it's not going to be much different than we've done in the past. Coach, well, thank you. Congratulations. Good luck down the road here in the future. We're going to get your seniors over here and talk to them. Yep, get them over here. This is their day. All righty. It's head coach Zach Carpenter. Now we're going to get the seniors over here. And we'll start with Macias Daniel here. Okay, he's got the headset. Put him, put him on the headset. Turn yeah, I got it. There. Macias, hey. good game tonight. I hadn't even seen the stats. Now they hadn't given us a final copy of that they gave him to coach mm -hmm. there early. But you had a good game. I had you about 14. Let's see. Six, eight. I had you for 14 points there. Yes, sir. Good night there. Uh, what's your future plans after you leave Bradley Central High School? You going to try to play ball in college? Uh, um, yes, sir, I want to, but if that don't work out, I'm going to um, go for my education. Like, I'm just going to be a vet or something. Going to be a what now? Veterinarian. I'm a study oh, vet you? science. Yes, sir. All oh, right. really? All oh, right. Well, we, I've got pets we may have to bring to you. you know, <laughs> yes, sir. Right yes, sir. Yes, yes. But uh, you ready for the tournament? Yes, sir, I'm ready. I'm ready. You don't know? Do you prefer Howard or Udawal? Does it matter to you who you play? It don't matter who we play. I feel like we're going to beat either one of them, but... We've taken them down twice this year, so uh, we'll see if a third time's a charm. Yes, sir. Thank you for hey, joining us. Go yes, one more question. Tell us about your senior year here at Bradley and, and, and how you and you, your teammates have approached it as you went along. Uh, I've had a blessed year, to be real. I love the experience. Like, my teammates, they made me like a better person on and off the court. You know, I love them for that. And my coaches, great coaches. Hey, got to play as a team or, or you go home early. Yes, sir. Right? One accord. Yes, sir. One accord. Absolutely. Court. Yes, well, sir. Macias, we appreciate you talking with us, we buddy. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Go ahead and let uh, Mr. J.D. there. First question we got to ask. Yep. Why would you cut the hair? <laughs> I just felt it was time. <laughs> Okay. Did you have it done here at school, or did you go to your own? I probably went somewhere else. Oh, okay. Well, J.D., you're a senior this year. How have you enjoyed your time here at Bradley Central? Oh, yeah. It's been a good four years. Been a really good four. And, and I'll tell you, folks, you, people may not know this young man, this is a smart cookie right here. When he graduates here from Bradley, he'll also graduate from Cleveland State with a two-year degree as a high school senior. <laughs> I don't know many people do that. Did you do that? It took me four years to go, too, over there, buddy. You're talking to the wrong fella. <laughs> well, J.D., what's your future plans? What, what are you going to study in school, in college? I think I want to go to UTK and study biology. Biology. Well, that's oh. a great career there, and uh, we wish you the best of luck, and, and congratulations on a great career here at Bradley. we got the district coming up now, so uh, lots of things going on there. We'll let you go, and we'll get a hold of Trevor Carpenter over there. Are we off? I don't know. Uh, we have now joined with Trevor Carpenter. Trevor, tell us about uh, your experience here at Bradley. It, it, it went by in a heartbeat, didn't it, buddy? Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, it's really a family here. I mean, I started off with Coach Clark, German, 
I started off with German. I didn't play for Coach Carp much, but German taught me well. Then new coaches came in, Coach Carp, Coach Jordan. I really love them. Tell us about your future plans. Well, as right now, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to go to college, play basketball, or I might go to a trade school, but I'm not really sure yet. Well, that, there's plenty of time to figure that out as you go along. And you come from a long, a long line of ball players, and your sister is senior as well. Uh, I, I know you guys have had a tremendous senior year. Uh, now, regular season's a distant, a distant memory. Tell me what you guys have to do to, to make some noise in this district tournament. Really being an everyday, everyday guy, we got to try hard in practice, don't mess around. I mean, Nick Men's beat us twice now, so we'd like to get them in the championship, you know. That would be really nice. Beat them when it matters. Good deal. Well, buddy, we appreciate you coming Thank by. You. Congratulations on a great year, and it's not over, so let's keep this thing going. Yes, sir. Thank you, buddy. That was Trevor Carpenter as we talked to our Bear seniors. We're done. We're out. Oh. We're off the air. I'll be dang. Okay. Uh, you don't know what happened? Nah. Okay, uh...